market did recover after almost about uh, 300 plus points correction on the nifty and so on so forth for the thing at uh, we did see intraday uh, choppiness and volatility the markets opened with a positive note but then uh, did give off some gains and then again recovered so we expect the markets to behave uh, in a similar fashion at least for the next couple of trading sessions uh remains to be seen uh, whether crude oil eases off and what are the kind of levels of the indian rupee against the dollar uh, both uh, sends the negative signal uh, rising crude oil prices and weak rupee increase the deficit as far as oil is concerned for the government and as you all know it is a net net importer of energy in form of crude oil uh, having said that uh, i think uh, the momentum remains positive uh, the only advice is that uh, look at if you are buying into the markets look at corrections dips to buy into the market uh, from a long term point of view and uh, at least for the mid cap and small cap uh, there could be some amount of volatility and choppiness with a negative bias that means we could possibly see some further correction on the mid and small cap uh, front line uh, large caps uh, is uh, preferred uh, with focus on certain sectors which look quite promising uh, though there are some conflicting reports on the consumption fmcg consumer durable consumer discretionary side but as a brokerage house we are due to give an extremely positive uh, banking is private sector is something preferred recovery in the public sector banks so select few names uh, are preferably large uh, banks and the public sector banks should be looked at and uh, in the commodity side metals and cement uh, both look quite attractive with domestic consumption going up and uh, prices of flat and long products going up so focus should be on large cap with these sectors in mind but one more advice don't put all your money at one time start at current levels and phase it out on the lower side with a correction of 3 4% of the sectors in nifty